and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on this special video class where you will discover the power of your mind-body connection and how it affects your health, your relationships and most of your life circumstances. My name is Jackie Talmage and I am a mentor, a teacher, a healer and the author of the book Your Mind Body Journey. And over the past 20 years, I've helped to heal and empower people from all over the world through my courses and my workshops and my one-to-one -one consultations. So, but it's not about me, this video class, it's about you. So let's just dive straight in. What actually is the mind-body connection? I mean, we've all heard the term used, but are we actually sure what it actually means? So let me try and explain in a nutshell. Your mind and your body are not separate. So when you think a thought, your body instantly responds. So chemicals are released into the bloodstream to help your body deal with whatever your thoughts have instructed it to do. And all of that is unconscious and we don't even know it's happening. So let's just explore this a little bit further. So for example, when you think of food, your brain thinks you're actually about to eat. So it produces and secretes saliva and enzymes to prepare the stomach for food digestion. Another example is if you think of a future event that you're really not looking forward to. So your thoughts about it will release stress hormones which prime your body to cope with the event. So even though it's not actually happening now, your body thinks it is. Okay, so now it's time for you to experience your mind-body connection in action. So we're gonna do a couple of exercises here. So I invite you now to close your eyes and we'll do the first exercise. So I want you to now imagine in your mind's eye a lemon. So however you visualize things, everybody visualizes things differently. So you might wanna see it or feel it or sense it whatever works for you. So you have this lemon in front of you and then you pick up an imaginary knife and I want you to now cut that lemon in half. And now you pick one half of that lemon up and I want you to bring that half lemon up towards your mouth and I now invite you to lick that sliced lemon. Give it a big lick. So the side you've just cut, you are licking that lemon. And just notice what happens in your mouth. <laughs> you might experience a bit of mouth watering going on, but just stay with the experiment. And now you're going to take this a bit step further and you're going to squeeze that lemon into your mouth. So you're gonna lift your head up, open your mouth and give that lemon a big squeeze into your mouth. Mm. Now just notice what's going on. All right, so let's get rid of the lemon. Get rid of the lemon, just put it down, whatever you wanna do, and just bring your eyes back to open. So, what happened? Did you notice that your salivic glands started to maybe start to work? You know, your mouth started to water? You might even have noticed your heart rate getting a little quicker, or you might have even noticed your, your facial muscles starting to screw up, you know, because of the bitterness of the taste. So this was your mind-body connection in action. Your body didn't realize that you were imagining something. It was just responding to your thought. And your body doesn't know the difference between fantasy or reality. So whenever you think something, your body responds as if it's happening now. Okay, so we're gonna do just another quick uh, exercise. So again, close your eyes. Just take a couple of deep breaths. And now I want you to cast your mind back to the last time you felt stressed or the last time you felt in an uncomfortable 
situation or an undesirable situation. Just the first thing that comes to your head, anything that's just happened to you in the past, could be distant, could be future, where you felt your stress responses kicking in. Okay, so just imagine now in your mind's eye that situation, just casting your mind back to that situation as if it was happening now. So just going back to that time. And now just notice what's happening in your body. Is your body responding? Is your heart rate quickening? Is your breathing getting slightly faster? Is your heart, are your palms starting to get clammy or sweaty? Just, just notice what's going on in your body while you are thinking of that situation. Okay, now stop. <laughs> we don't want you there in that stressful situation for, us, for, for any longer. So come back, breathe, take a deep breath, let that thought go, it's gone. Now, did you notice that you actually brought those feelings into the present moment? Your, was your body responding as if it was happening now because you were thinking about it? Okay, we'll just do another quick one, similar one to that one, but we're just gonna bring some happy feelings back into your body. So just closing your eyes again. Take a deep breath. And now I want you to cast your mind back to a happy situation that has happened to you in the past. So just think about something that really brought you to a place of joy or happiness or laughter. Just cast your mind back to a situation that's happened to you where these feelings have been brought ahead. So that's happy, joyful, loving feelings maybe. And just cast your mind back to that time. And just relive it. Relive that time. In your mind's eye, just cast yourself back to that moment and just notice how you feel in your body when you remember those happy times. Keep visualizing that happy time and just noticing what happens in your body. And taking a deep breath in. Okay, and opening your eyes. So, did you notice your body responding positively to that memory? So, this is just to demonstrate that whatever your mind is thinking, your body will respond. So, you can imagine, if you, if you are uh, uh, thinking lots of stressful thoughts, your body will constantly be responding to that. So there's a few things that you can do in your life to enable your body to respond in a positive way as opposed to a negative way. Stress, for example. Because your mind is directly linked to your nervous system and your nervous system is directly linked to your body, every thought that you have creates a reaction within your body. So when you have a fearful or stressful thought, your body's automatic defense mechanism kicks in. So adrenaline and cortisol, they get released into your system, which makes your heart rate quicken, your breathing get faster, your blood pressure will rise, and your palms even might go sweaty. So these are all ancient limbic responses, and they are there to help keep you safe and protected. However, we are no longer running away from a saber-toothed tiger, yet our body believes that we are. We haven't yet learned how to tell our body that we're not in an imminent life-threatening situation. So our body just keeps releasing these hormones to help us, but they're not really helping us. So in the future, if you get stressed, you can reprogram it by choosing to respond differently. Because it's never actually about the situation that is creating the stress, but it's all down to how you respond to it. 
So there are a couple of tools that you can use to help you respond differently. And the best one is to switch your focus. By switching your attention to something other than what is causing your stress will instantly take you away from the stress. Train your mind to stop being triggered by constantly diverting your focus. Another tool is to breathe. Breathe deeply. By slowing your breathing and breathing deeply, you will trick your body into believing that everything is calm and peaceful. Not only that, but when your diaphragm contracts, it sends a message to the brain to release dopamine, which calms your body. Another benefit of this natural occurring chemical is that dopamine enhances mood and acts as a pain reliever. So your brain is such a powerful tool and once you learn how to use it properly, it will literally change your life. You can even use your brain to help you get well if you're sick because basically your body responds to whatever you have subconsciously programmed it to do. So once you think and believe you are well, your body responds to this belief and literally helps you get well again. The placebo effect is a classic example of this. So an example of the placebo effect is where there are two patients who have the same illness and both of them have been given a drug to help them get better. One of the patients has been given a pill to cure them and the other has been given a pretend pill made from sugar. Both patients have been told that they have been given a drug that will cure them. And guess what? They both get better. This is because their mind believes that they will get better purely because they have been told that they will. And this isn't just wishful thinking. Scientists have now proven that when we believe that we are taking a drug, but in fact it's a placebo, the brain lights up as if it was really taking the drug and then produces red blood cells which are targeted to the area that needs healing. So your subconscious mind basically runs the show. In fact, it runs 95% of your life. So whatever your subconscious mind has been programmed to do, you respond to that programming. So you will keep on repeating patterns and beliefs and ways of being until you program your brain to think and do things differently. This includes beliefs about yourself. And these beliefs include things like, I'm not good enough, or I'm not lovable, or I'm hopeless at relationships, or I'm a failure, or I'm always broke. And look, the majority of these beliefs about yourself were downloaded into your subconscious mind when you were a child, mostly from well-meaning parents or teachers, and also from the culture that you were born into. All of your early experiences were translated into beliefs and downloaded into your subconscious mind. Then you have spent the rest of your life playing out this belief or until a new belief has been set up. So no wonder you find yourself repeating the same patterns in life. No wonder you sometimes feel stuck and disempowered because basically whatever you believe to be true becomes true. So the mind-body connection means that your thoughts, your feelings and your beliefs and attitudes can positively or negatively not just affect your biological functioning but your life situations and circumstances too. So how is that possible? So let me try and explain about your electro magnetic energy and how you can use it to create your dreams. So you are energy. Your body is energy. You are an electromagnetic being, which means that you are energy that is magnetic. 
you have energetic layers around your physical body which is commonly known as the auric field. You also have chakras which are energy centers which correspond to specific glands in the body. And when you vibrate your energy, which is basically what you think or feel, you draw or attract to you more of what you are vibrating. Like attracts like. So to change what you attract to you, you need to change your vibration. Your thoughts and feelings vibrate at a certain frequency, so therefore you can change your electromagnetic energy to attract what you want just by changing your thoughts and feelings. So what you think and what you feel determines your vibration. Therefore, if you constantly think about what you don't want, guess what? You'll keep getting what you don't want. This is the law of attraction. And the law of attraction will keep giving you more of what you don't want because that's where your focus is. That's what you are vibrating. So whatever you focus on creates your reality. So to create your dreams, you need to be thinking and feeling in alignment with them. So we have around 50,000 thoughts a day and tomorrow 40,000 of those thoughts will be the same. So no wonder nothing changes. So to change your life and create the life of your dreams, first you need to change your unconscious beliefs. However, most of us don't know what they are, let alone how to change them. How can we change anything that we don't know that we don't know? However, there is good news because I am here to tell you that you have the power to transform your life from struggle to an, an extraordinary life of your dreams. It is possible, I know, because I was there and I have learned the tools to empower myself and other people to really step up and really live the, li the life that they were born to. So whatever challenges that you face in your life, I mean, that might be bad health or unhealthy relationships or troubled finances or just maybe lack of direction. Whatever is blocking you from having the life of your dreams, you can and you will have all that you wish for. So let me introduce the Mind Body Magic Online Bootcamp. So you now have the opportunity to learn the seven magical mind body tools that will transform your life. So is this bootcamp for you? Well, do you feel a bit stuck or frustrated or unfulfilled? Or maybe you feel a little bit out of control of your life? Or do you just keep repeating the same unhealthy patterns and dramas? Maybe you have struggles in your relationships or finances or your job. Or maybe you keep having reoccurring health issues. Have you lost the passion and zest for life? Or maybe you just wanna learn how to manifest your dreams. And if you answered yes to any of those, then this Mind Body Magic Bootcamp has your name all over it. No more excuses because you know it's time to get your life back on track and start to live the, the life that you deserve basically, the life that you were born for. And because I wish nothing more for you than for you to realise your dreams, I have purposefully kept this Mind Body Magic Bootcamp low in price. In fact, you will be getting $1,200 Australian dollars worth of content just for 180 Australian dollars. I mean, that is a bonkers price. 
a bonkers life for a lifetime of transformation. <laughs> so get signed up now. This price is only available to you today. And after this offer, I'm going to be raising the price up quite a bit. So now is the time. Stop procrastinating. Just get on the bandwagon. Let's just do this. Let's just get this show on the road now. So come on, press that button and I'll see you in the Mind Body Magic Bootcamp. I just cannot wait. So if you're still watching this video and you're still humming and hurring, you're still procrastinating, you're not quite sure, then let me tell you a little bit more about what to expect on the Mind Body Bootcamp. Yeah, so on this Mind Body Magic Bootcamp, you will be going through seven powerful lessons. So we we'll just go through these lessons now so you kind of know what to expect. So on lesson one, you will be understanding more about your mind and how it creates your life. So basically that's the good stuff and the not so good stuff. And on lesson two, you will unlock the hidden beliefs that have been holding you back and which have been kind of stopping you or sabotaging you from getting the life that you truly want for yourself. And in lesson three, you'll learn how to heal your body, how to use your mind to heal your body. So that's a very powerful lesson if you do have a few health issues. And on lesson four, this is all about your mind and your, your not so positive mind, shall we say. So if you suffer from stress or negativity in your life, depression maybe, anxiety, fears, this lesson in lesson four, you will master how to release those, how to detox your mind. And lesson five, you will harness the power of your body's unique energy system. So we all have energy, we vibrate energy. So you will be discovering more about your energy system and basically how to use it to attract, to manifest. And in lesson six, you will learn how to use your mind body magic to attract love, to attract more love, to learn how to love. And in lesson seven, you will fully step into your magic and learn how to create your dreams. Look, you can take as long as you want on the boot camp. It's there for you for life. So if you're a busy person and you just think, oh my goodness, there's seven lessons and you know, when am I going to find the time? Well, once you start, I'll tell you what, you won't, won't want to stop. However, if you are short of time, then you know, you can pick it up and you know, just, just use the boot camp that's right for you. I mean, the longer you spend on one lesson, the better your results will be. So I encourage you actually to take a while, you know, just use your own pace. And the slower you go and the more mindful you are with them, the better and quicker your results are. So this is what other people have said who have completed the Mind Body Magic Bootcamp. Yeah, so that's the end of our Mind Body Connection video class. And I really hope that you got some value out of it and that you learned a little bit more about you and just how powerful you are. And if you really want to embrace the tools and take your life to the next level and start repeating the same old patterns and dramas and health issues and all that stuff in your life that is keeping you stuck and blocked, if you're ready now to really transform that and to start living the life of your true potential and living the life that you were destined to have, then please join us in the Mind Body Magic Bootcamp. It'll be lovely to see you again and it'll be such an amazing journey for you. So if you're ready, 
then join us. If you're not quite ready, that's okay. If you still want to kind of keep repeating those same old patterns, then that's fine, as long as you are okay with that. But if you're not okay with that, and you really want to start transforming your life today, then sign up now. Sign up and get your place on the Mind Body Magic Bootcamp, and I really look forward to seeing you there. That's all for me for now. I wish you so much love, so much luck. Take care. Bye. I was an eternal pessimist. My life was appearingly to me rubbish. I hated my life. In fact, I hated myself. I had so many issues in my life and everything was a struggle. The glass was always half empty. I was never satisfied. I was never fulfilled. I was always seeking outside of myself to find an answer basically, to try and find an answer to happiness and freedom. And at the time actually, I appeared to be like a very successful person. And I was a successful person. I had a great career. I had a beautiful home. I lived in London and I had a great boyfriend and my bank account was full. And I had on the outside appeared to have an amazing life. However, on the inside, I was a mess. I was so unhappy. I was, I was very overweight and I just, I just was struggling. I needed to find answers. And I suppose when you put that question out there, then life kind of turns around to help you to find your answers. So I've been on a bit of a journey for the past 20 years and so I was working as a graphic designer in London and I was promoted to work for a, a complimentary health magazine. So I became the art editor for this well-known complimentary magazine in Leicester Square. And at the time I, I didn't want to work for a health magazine. I wasn't into health. I was more into lifestyle and fashion. And however, working for that magazine completely changed my life, thank God. Because what it did, it made me realize that, well, that we can change our lives. We don't need external stuff to change our lives. We have the power within us to change our lives. And reading these stories in the magazine where people transform their lives in sometimes you know they had serious health issues and sometimes terminal yet they changed and transformed their lives in the most miraculous ways and i wanted to know more i was absolutely hungry for this stuff i wanted to know how they did this how do they go from a place of struggle and unhappiness and unhealth to a place of happiness and health and freedom so I just absorbed all this information like a sponge and what really jumped out at me was the power of our mind, basically, and the power of our unconscious mind. See, our unconscious beliefs are, is what's running the show. And it was like a real wake-up call for me. It was a real aha for me because I realized that my unhappiness was all because of a root uh, issue that I had, a root problem that I didn't realize I even had. And the key was that I believed that I had to be perfect to be loved. I believed that to get anywhere in life, I had to be perfect. And I was brought up in a perfectionist environment in my family and my schooling. And I believed that if I didn't get everything right and perfect, then I was a failure. I believed I was a failure. And so I went through my whole early 20s, well, most of my early 20s and 30s, believing that I had failed and that I was imperfect and I was unlovable. And of course, we can't be perfect. We're, we're living in an imperfect world. So that was ridiculous <laughs> belief, but I believed it. And so that was the aha I needed 
and I realized also that I wasn't living my truth. I wasn't living the per I wasn't being the person that I truly was or am. And that is a free spirit. I actually hated working in the rat race. I hated working in London. I hated the nine, nine to five or nine to eight. I hated being a slave to a, a thing. I wanted to be free. And so I made the decision and I quit my well-paid job, much to the shock of everybody. And I, I just got a backpack one day and off I went for a whole year, uh, traveled around the world, came back, and then decided I wanted to study natural therapies. I wanted to become a healer. And of course, before I, before you become a healer, you have to heal yourself. You can't be in the position to teach or heal when you haven't gone through it yourself. So of course, then I was pushed <laughs> again on uh, out there into the world to face my stuff. And I did big time. I emigrated to Australia because it suited me more. So I was following my heart, but I obviously had a lot of issues inside that I needed to confront. And I did confront them. I went through crisis after crisis, but I'm here to tell you, you don't have to go through crisis to transform your life. All you have to do is be aware that you need to, you need something needs to change. Anyway, so, um, I was became a therapist and a yoga teacher and I worked with a lot of bodies over quite a long period of time and a pattern started to emerge so because I would get people coming to me with similar conditions who had similar emotional stuff going on in their life and so that set me off on a whole new path of studying the mind-body connection because the mind and the body are not separate. It's a physiological, emotional issue that we have. And I realized then that to change your body, to change any health issues, we have to change our beliefs and our mind first. And so I went back to the UK and I spent six years studying the mind-body connection. I ended up setting up a course called Your Mind Body Journey. And it was just phenomenal because every time I took a course or ran a one-to-one -one session, it was just profound knowing that your unconscious beliefs are setting up your life basically. So it's breaking that unconscious patterning, breaking up those unconscious, uh, the unconscious programming and then we can change and transform our lives and nothing can change unless we bring the unconscious to the conscious because we can't change anything that we don't know that we don't know. So we have to bring it to light and then we need to be willing to change our beliefs and our thoughts and then it goes back into the unconscious again and then that completely rearranges our body chemistry and our life and that's transformation and that has been my work now for the past 20 years and i absolutely love my work because i help people from a place where i was in that place of struggle and distress and i'm getting emotional about this now because it's so easy actually to transform your life and i don't want you to go through crisis <laughs> or years and years of therapy to try and help uh, you sort of get out of this unconscious programming that was set up in your childhood, this belief, this, this faulty belief that we carry around with us and keep playing out again and again in our life. So that's my story. So that's all from me for now. And I really hope that's helped you and I really hope to be seeing you soon. Lots of love for now.